Hey guys, welcome to this week's haul. I want to thank everyone for the great feedback on the 1991 Upper Deck Football uh, TTM breakdown of that set. Um, I really appreciate it. And also last week we hit our light goal. This was awesome. Um, got a lot of good feedback and a lot of good comments about it. Uh, just, you know, the, a good conversation with some people. Um, so I want to set this week's again to 40, see if we can hit it again. And uh, comment which one... Uh, which one of my turns you like the most or you know just which ones you might want to target from this week or just some stuff that you know uh, like I spoke to someone I think it was Bill said that he was trying to get like the 87 tops set he was working on, like an 89 pro set football so I really appreciate conversation and stuff about that so uh, just like comment subscribe do all that stuff we're slowly building a pretty cool group of people I you know I really appreciate all the comments so uh, we got 24 this week, and we got a good mix. Um, even got some football. Um, some of my football returns are starting as well. So let's get going. Um, at a Canyon Lake, Texas, four of four, 14 days. We got Bill Stein. Uh, Bill Stein. We got a 81 tops traded, or I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, 79 tops. Okay, here's the, this is the traded 81 tops traded and 84 tops. Um, he's 77 years old, played from 72 to 85, played for the Cardinals, White Sox, Mariners, and Rangers. He was an All-American at Southern Illinois in college. He was mostly a backup and pitch hitter. Um, he hated playing at Comiskey. So when he was traded, when he was taken in the uh, expansion draft by the Mariners, he uh, he enjoyed it. So he's like he couldn't wait. So. And then uh, when he retired, he was a minor league coach for years. So I want to thank Mr. Stein. He's a very good signer. Uh, we got Naples, Florida. And if you have any questions about, you know, uh, addresses and things, let's go to Sports Card Forum. That's where I get most of my uh, addresses from. Uh, 4 of 4, 19 days. I got Don Carmen. And you'll see two of my set breakdown cards in here. Uh, we got a 91 upper deck. In 87 Donruss, I did both of these sets uh, about a month ago, so I got those back. 87 tops and 91 upper deck. It's gonna go to my brother who's working on that set. So very happy I got those back. Mount Dora, Florida, three of three, nine days. Bobby Floyd. Um, we have a 72, a 74, and a 70. Uh, and Bobby Floyd, let me go to my cheat sheet here, give you some information. Um, he's 80 years old, played for the Orioles and Royals. Um, he didn't really have too much of a career, um, light hitting, um, kind of a pinch hitter back and forth, up and down in the minors. But he did have a long 30-year career as a manager and coach. And the minors and the pros, he was uh, a Mets coach. From 04, or sorry, uh, 2001 to 2004. So, I want to thank Mr. Floyd. All right, we got Lee Summit, Missouri. Two of two, 36 days. Mark Huseman. Uh, Mark, Mark doesn't have a whole lot of cards. I think he's got 85, which I totally over overlooked to send him. So, I picked up this uh, line drive triple uh, A card off ebay for cheap because i uh, i think i got it thrown in as kind of like a buy so many get one free so i did this one and uh i wanted 87 tops that's why that's this this is why i was really wanting to get signed but my brother's actually uh buying a bunch of minor league cards right now and looking up and seeing um which ones he can get signed and whatever so he's 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 enjoying that i might um so that really sparked my or piqued my interest on maybe getting a minor league card here or there all right, Houston, Texas, three of three, 88 days. All right, so we got here Don, or sorry, <laughs> Jeff Calhoun, <laughs> not Don Carmen. Uh, we have 88, 87 tops traded and 87 tops. Um, he is not 70 years old. It's usually when I do kind of a, a you know, a um, little more information and this and that. So there's a lot of guys that's right below the, the um, cut off 
<laughs> this week. A lot of 67, 68, 69 guys or something. So it's a pretty cool autograph. I like that. Loops. Just want to thank him for that. Uh, we got Sarasota, Florida. Three of two, 13 days. We got a signed index card. We got George Thomas. George Thomas. Oh, this is a 60. 63 and a 65 yeah 63 and 65 um, he is 86 years old played from 57 to 71 played for the Tigers Angels Red Sox and Twins he uh, had a lifetime batting average of 255 hit 46 homers and 202 RBI and after his playing days he was a coach for the University of Minnesota for many years so I thank Mr. Thomas we got Santa Ana, California. Two of two, 13 days. Dave Moorhead. Yeah, I didn't sign that. Uh, we've got a 68 and a 69. Uh, Mr. Moorhead, he's 81 years old. Played from 63 to 70. Played for, played for the Red Sox and Royals. He had a no-hitter on September 16th, 1965 versus the Indians. And he had to retire at 28 years old um, due to arm ailments. So he had a promising career, but uh, yeah, just he tailed off at the end of the uh, Red Sox. And then he got picked up in the expansion draft for the Royals. And it just didn't really do much for him, unfortunately. Bradenton, Florida, 3 of 3, 74 days. Rich Folkers, it's kind of a funny, unique name. Um, so we have a 74, 75, and a 76. Pretty good auto there, too. Uh, Mr. Folkers, uh, 77 years old, played from 70 to 77, played for the Mets, Cardinals, Padres, Brewers. He missed the 1969 season due to uh, military obligations, and he had a career 411 ERA. So I think Mr. Folkers, I actually had a try twice with this with him for some reason it's the same address and everything but uh it came back as a bad address but then i looked and there was more returns so i just sent it again and got it back so also i never look at the uh, analytics from the side just i'm just not really interested in it but i did look and uh i want to thank Someone uh, that looked up on or well, signed into someone's Google account, probably their wife's, and looked up and watched one of my videos because it's it's honestly like 99 point something percent male. So I assume someone probably were, was on the wrong account when they went, when they uh, watched my video. So I want to thank that person. That's kind of funny. Um, Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, five of five, 79 days. All right, Steve Farr. This is another guy that's right below the cutoff. So uh, we have a, oh boy, I always, is this an 88 Fleer? Yes, <laughs> I 80, man, 88, 89 Fleer. I'm just, ugh, I confuse them so easily. Uh, 90 upper deck, for go to my brother there. Uh, 90 Bowman, uh, 85 tops and 87 tops. So yeah, he, he played quite a while. Mr. Farr, I, best known for the Royals. Did, uh, I'm trying to think, he played for the Yankees later, maybe? But yeah, very happy got those back. Uh, Lancaster, South Carolina, three of three, 25 days. I got a first football return this week. Pete Metzelars is part of those powerful Bills teams in the 90s. And then he was on the uh, one of the first Panthers teams as well. So I remember playing with, uh, was it, man, what was it? Tecmo Bowl, maybe one of the later Tecmo Bowl games on Nintendo or Sega Genesis or something. I played the, with the Bills all the time because the Colts, will, the Colts were awful <laughs> to play with. So I at least want to give myself a chance. Um, so Largo, Florida, five of five, 21 days. We got Jerry Reed. Here we go. Here's the 89. Clear. Yep, another 90 upper deck for my brother. 88 Fleer, 90 score, and 87 tops. 
Yeah, he was another one that got cut off there. He's, what, how old is he now? It's like 68, 69 or something. It's 55, so yeah, he's 69 years old. So I want to thank him. He's a long-time reliever. All right, this one I actually paid for, Provo, Utah. You pretty much know this is the TTM GOAT here. Three of three, 18 days. I think I paid $10 for these three cards signed. Uh, I wish I remembered. But 87 tops, 89 tops, because I'm a Cubs fan. I don't know why this is some paper loss on there for some reason. And then this was just a funny card. I mean, they're trying to wipe his glasses, and they use this as a card. So, <laughs> I don't know. I'm all about trying to get some funny cards signed, and uh, that one was that one caught my <laughs> piqued my interest there, and uh, had to scoop this up and send it off. So, um, I want to thank Mr. Law for for this. Um, I think he's five dollars a card. I think right. I I, sh I should know this. I should have a list here, but yeah, I want to thank him. his dad. Signs I think for ten dollars a card. He's still he's in his nineties, I believe. Uh, yeah, Vance Law is just underneath that 70-year threshold as well. So, All right, this one is out of East Providence, Rhode Island. Two of two, 118 days. A lot of people got this guy this week. And it's Oil Can Boyd. 85 and 87 tops. But see, all the returns are coming from Jackson, Mississippi. So I don't know if this address is really, you know, if it'd work. I haven't seen a whole lot of people send off recently, and I have been seeing people um, get something back from him saying, hey, you know, send $5 back, or next time will be $5. I didn't get that from him, um, but I have been seeing people uh, get that message. So if you're going to send to him, I don't know if I would even do it right now, honestly, because I don't know if this is the right address. I would wait and see if there's more returns or if people are getting returned to senders from this address. Um, so just FYI, if you've seen a lot of people send to him and get some back, um, he may not even sign them if you don't put $5 in there or something too. So just FYI with that, but very happy to get that back. Uh, I thought those were long gone. He got like one or two returns and he just got epically slammed, but he must've signed like a hundred different people and just put them all in the mail, uh, end of last week. So Aliquippa, Pennsylvania, um, five of five, 15 days. We got Doc Medich. We have a 78, 81 tops, 81 Fleer, 82 Fleer, and 79 tops. Uh, Mr. Medich is 79, 75 years old. Played from 72 to 82. Played from the or played for the Yankees, Pirates, A's, Mariners, Mets, Rangers, and Brewers. He went to medical school early in his career, and uh, he got his uh, medical degree in 1977 uh, at the, I think it was the University of Pittsburgh. And uh, he once, uh, someone had a heart attack in the stands, and he attempted to save him, but unfortunately that fan did not survive. Um, but uh, I kind of don't know if I should really add this kind of negative stuff to this but just to give you a good idea of his career i decided to um let me know if it's you know if this may be not something you'd want in future stuff but uh in 83 he prescribed pain meds to himself and he got caught and had to go to rehab in 99 he got some more trouble with that and in 2001 he lost his uh pain med prescribing privileges and uh um had I think it was like six six years probation but yeah so i you know i i want to add everything about him good and bad and whatever so i just wanted to i want to thank him for sending me that so um claire moore oklahoma for 484 days steve crawford uh, we got an 83 tops 85 tops 87 tops and 82 fleer he was a longtime player. Uh, yeah, my, most most notably for the Red Sox, I would say. Um, longtime pitcher. I want to thank him for that. And we got Chicago, Illinois. One of one, 24 days. This is, I sent this, this is to the White Sox, by the way, this address. Didn't put a card saver in here. It's a bit kind of difficult to get. It's Hall of Famer. 
Tony La Russa. There was no charge as well. So all these except for the Vance Law, I didn't have to pay for, by the way. Um, Tony La Russa is 79, 79 years old. He played from 63 to 73 for the Cubs, A's, and Braves. Um, he is a 2014 Hall of Fame member, uh, three-time World Series as a manager, four-time manager of the year. Uh, Cardinals retired his number 10 number. He's a member of the A's and St. Louis Cardinals Hall of Fames, and he had 280, sorry, 2,884 wins as a manager. So thank Mr. La Russa. We got Grapevine, Texas, four of four, nine days. Steve Busby. We have a 74, 81 Fleer, 78, and a 76 tops. Um, Mr. Busby, 74 years old, played from 72 to 80 for the all for the Royals. He was an all-star in 74 and 75. He had two no-hitters. It was in 73 and one in 74. Royals Hall of Famer, and he was a longtime announcer and play-by-play -play guy for the Texas Rangers. I want to thank Mr. Busby for that. All right, we have another one here. We got Charlotte, North Carolina, two of three, 96 days. Donnell Wolford. Oh, I didn't even see he signed the back of this card. <laughs> okay. Um, we got two pro sets, and I guess he didn't want to sign on his face, I'm guessing. I didn't even think he signed this card. Okay, well, that okay, that makes sense, because I was like, why did he not sign this? Because I've seen a bunch of other people um, have autograph cards, all of them signed or whatever, you know, as long as it's not crazy number, but yeah, I... I Grew up a, you know, I grew up a Colts fan, but the Bears were always on television on the other channel. So um, I watched a ton of Bears games as well. So I definitely know who Donald Wolford is. So I really appreciate getting those back. Another Charlotte, North Carolina, 4 of 4, 23 days. Speaking of Colts, Frank Reich. Uh, we have Pro Set Pacific Tops and another one of these Flair medals in 95. This one with the Panthers. These look, these look so nice signed. And the autograph sticks on them. I don't even have to prep them. Because this part is not doesn't have that coating on it like a lot of them do. Um, so, yeah. Uh, former Colts uh, head coach. Didn't really get a fair shot uh, in Carolina, I don't believe. I um, think he'll get another job at some point. But he'll probably have to get another offensive coordinator job, unfortunately. Tempe, Arizona. We got Tom Egan. We have a 70 and a 1966. Uh, Mr. Egan, 78 years old, played from 65 to 75 for the Angels and White Sox. He got a $100,000 bonus back in 65 out of high school, and he caught Nolan Ryan's third no-hitter ever, and that was in uh, 1974. Very cool. We got a couple more here. Uh, we got uh, Oxford, Mississippi, two of two, 21 days. Okay, we got Jake Gibbs. Mr. Gibbs is uh, 85 years old. This is a 68 and a 69. Played only for the Yankees. He was a primary backup for Elston Howard and Thurman Munson. He was actually drafted uh, in football by the Oilers in the AFL and the Browns in the NFL in 1961. Um, he played uh, football at the University of Mississippi, and actually in the offseason in 1965, he was an assistant uh, coach for the football team, uh, and Archie Manning was actually on that team, so just a FYI with that. And uh, later in his career, he coached uh, the baseball team at uh, Ole Miss. I thank Mr. Gibbs for that. All right, this one's a kind of a backup here. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, one of one. 42 days. I actually got this return uh, back, oh man, I guess, yeah, a month and a half ago, but I had I had an error. Um, it's Jim Leland. I sent him a card that was all marked up on the back uh, accidentally, and this one's clean, so I want to thank him for <laughs> re-signing this. Um, just to redo it here, um, Mr. Leland, 79 years old, Hall of Famer in 2024. Uh, he had a World Series win in 97 with the Marlins. Three-time manager of the year, Tigers retired his number 10, and he is a Pirates Hall of Famer, and he had 1,769 wins as a manager. I got one after this one here. All right, Martinez, California, 5 of 5, 22 days. 
Kiko Garcia. We have a 79, an 81, a 78, another 81 traded, I believe. Yeah. And 85 tops. Uh, Alfonso Kiko Garcia. And uh, he's 70 years old. Played from 76 to 85. Played for the Orioles, Astros, Phillies. He was basically a backup to many gold glove middle infielders like Mark Bellinger and Doug DeCensis. So never really got a shot to play every day for the most part. So very good um, utility middle infielder filter for many years. Uh, okay, we got one more. Edwards, Colorado, 4 of 4, 18 days. We got our last return as a football, Paul Gruber. 90 Pro Set, I believe, right? 90? Yeah. 90 Fleer, 89 Pro Set. It, it, I, I do agree. This set is really good. It would look really good sign if someone was going after that one. And then finally, another 95 Fleer medal. So that is it for the week. I d do not have another set breakdown this week. I thought about it maybe, maybe if I have time to run down and get something off like Facebook marketplace for the, but for the most part, it will probably be maybe the following week. I'll do another one. So just an FYI. So you'll probably, you probably won't see until next Sunday for next week's haul. So I want to thank everyone for watching and uh, I'll see you next Sunday.